In the heartland of America, where the prairie stretches as far as the eye can see, lies a small town that may be harboring a chilling secret. Veronica Butler, a devoted mother, and her friend Jillian Kelly, a preacher's wife, set out on a routine trip to pick up Veronica's children. What started as a simple journey has now turned into a baffling disappearance that has left two Oklahoma communities shaken to their core. With no sign of Veronica or Jillian and a dark mystery shrouding their fate, join me as we try to find out and share this information of what happened on that desolate Oklahoma road. In the heartland of America lies Hoogaton, Kansas, a small town where life moves at a slower pace and community bonds run very deep. Veronica Butler, a 27-year-old mother, known for her warm smile and caring nature, calls this town home. She had plans to reunite with her children for a weekend visitation on March 30th, 2024. Accompanying Veronica on her journey was her friend Jillian Kelly. Jillian is 39 years old and a preacher's wife with three children of her own. She is very well respected in the community for her kindness and her compassion. The two friends set out in Jillian's dark blue Kia SUV, headed for rural Eva, Oklahoma, where Veronica's children awaited. It was a routine trip and a mere 46 minute drive. Days have now passed with no sign of Veronica and Jillian. Concerned family members contacted authorities and soon the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation took charge of the case. The women's disappearance has sent shockwaves through the tight-knit communities of Hugoton and Eva. Despite extensive searches and investigations, the whereabouts of Veronica and Jillian remain unknown two days later. Their families are grappling with uncertainty and fear and definitely clinging to hope for their safe return. Now, Hugoton is with a population of about 3,700 residents. It's known for its rolling wheat fields and tight community bonds. Elkhart, a nearby town where Jillian's Kia was found abandoned, had a smaller population of around 2,000 residents. So both towns share a very similar rural setting characterized by vast wide open spaces um, and a very close knit atmosphere. But speculation is swirling about what could have happened to the two women on the desolate Oklahoma road surrounded by fields. Did they encounter foul play? Did they fall victim to unforeseen dangers in the low, lonely prairie? Did their car break down? Um, we just don't have a lot of information right now. Their disappearance is definitely raising a lot of questions. Let me give you a little bit of information on both Veronica and Jillian. So Jillian's Kia was found abandoned on Highway 95 and Road L. That is just south of Elkhart, Kansas. They have not been heard from since the morning of March 30th. Veronica is 27 years old, five foot four inches. She has red hair and green eyes. She was wearing a blue short sleeve shirt, denim shorts, and hey dude shoes. Veronica has several tattoos, a Chinese symbol on her left forearm, and a sunflower on her left shoulder. Jillian is 39. She has brown hair, blue eyes, she was wearing whitewashed blue jeans, a long sleeve shirt, and tan or beige shoes. She has a butterfly tattoo on her left forearm. Now, my understanding is that Veronica's children's father does have a solid alibi. I cannot verify that, but that is what I'm hearing. And like I said, there's just not much information has come out on this um, case yet, but we have two grown women on the way to pick up children of one of the women, and they both went missing out in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma, and their car left abandoned. If you have any information regarding Jillian and Veronica, please contact OSBI at 1-800-522-8017. You can also email them at tips at OSBI.OK. 
dot gov. Did look to see if there are any other missing person cold cases from those areas. I was not able to find any. However, it is important to note that both towns are situated in extremely rural areas with vast expanses of land. This is agricultural farming land. Um, and as such, missing person cases in these kind of regions present unique challenges due to the remote terrain and limited resources for search and rescue efforts. So I'm, I'm very happy that OSBI did get involved um, so quickly with this. I think that the transient nature of some populations and the potential risk associated with these isolated areas does create problems. So again, if you have any information, please, please contact Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this information. Somebody knows something about these two amazing women. You guys, thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.